So what I'd like you to do is just have a look at that photograph. Stay with it for a moment. What are you actually seeing? Now, what if I was to tell you that this photograph is a photograph of a scene of a crime? And how has that changed your view of what you're seeing? So that was the question that a colleague of mine, a senior curator of photographs, asked me. It was interesting to see what changed in my view immediately. Now, it's not a scene of a crime. It's just a photograph of a staircase. Now, I asked this question of a different colleague, an archivist, and his view was radically different. He said, I don't see it at all. I normally see photographs as pieces of paper, ones that I'm cataloguing or conserving, and many hundreds of them perhaps in a day, often a little bit crumpled, maybe a bit torn. They haven't been mounted, they haven't been framed, they haven't been put on a wall in the context of a gallery or with other things. So we have two very different views, both deeply influenced by our preconception of what we think might be there, what we brought ourselves to that moment of looking. So the questions to ask yourself as a leader before you go into your next meeting are, what is the picture you have in your mind? What are the preconceptions you're holding about that picture? What piece of information or event could suddenly alter those preconceptions radically? And then think about the other people who are going to be and how they're going to be looking at it in a completely different way.